Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately and to arm himself appropriately. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the Harbor District. Home sweet home. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the Army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate, so I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jora. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. Can you train me? If you really want to learn how to fight, then go up against me. The lesson is no extra charge. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed, no bows or crossbows, and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Just a second. Take your time. Hear ye, I'm starting now. Of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Lord ah. Martial Law, is a ah. civilian judge. The Honorable Lord Honorable ah. Lord. Ah. Of ah. Ah. Finish him. Attaboy. Slug him. My head. Wait a minute. Oh, man. You packed quite a punch. I see you already took your gold. You could have waited until I gave it to you. I keep my word. And one more thing. No one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. Can you train me? I keep my word. I'll teach you everything I know, provided you have the necessary experience. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly... Nothing surprises me anymore. That's terrible. I'm not telling you anything new. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Now Nobody will learn anything from me. I'm going off myself. Everybody knows by now. 
it's gonna get even worse. That's an open secret. I never knew that. That's not what I heard. Not what I heard. I never knew that. That's not what my husband thinks. There's nothing you can do about it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Do you really believe that? I won't tell her a thing. He never would have thought of that himself. Don't tell this to anyone. Will it ever change? Let's take a visit. Nothing surprising. Everybody knows me. You hardly know who to believe these days. Someone's got to believe. Hey, you! What do you want? Peck isn't here, so you can't get anything. Come back later. I want to get stronger. Of course you do. But so long as you aren't one of us, or a paladin, I won't help you. Hey, you! How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers. But when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. Can you at least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. All right. You can start when you're ready. Where should I start, with one-handed or two-handed weapons? That's entirely up to you. If you specialize in only one type of weapon, you automatically learn the other at the same time. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. In that case, the training is more exhausting than if you train with both types of weapons. Just start and you'll soon see what I'm talking about. What are the advantages of one or two-handed weapons? Quite simple. With a one-handed weapon, you're faster. That can be a considerable advantage in battle. 
Two-handed weapons are more ponderous. You have to fight with foresight, but you can do a lot more damage when you're hit. What's it like with the militia? Lord Andre is our commander now. The militia used to report to the governor. <laughs> he had no idea what we do here. But Lord Andre knows what he's doing. He takes good care of the men. Everyone who starts here gets some decent armor and a good weapon. And there are bonuses if you've done a good job. He pays a bounty for every criminal captured. I want to join the militia. So? Are you a citizen of the town? No. Then Lord Andre won't take you. Sure, you can talk to him, but I don't think he'll make an exception for you. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? That I must tell Lord Hagen myself. Suit yourself. But you should know one thing. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. I want to take up service with the paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. But it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior of Innos. Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen. I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves' guild in Corinus. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. Hey, you! Furthermore, 
Any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly forbidden. Everybody knows by now. That's not where my husband is. What are you doing here? I'm training the boys to use a crossbow and help them become a little more dexterous. Could you train me? No, I only train the men in the service of the king, nobody else. But we can always use good people. So if you want to join the militia, go talk to Lord Andre. Don't bother me, I'm on duty. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately and to arm himself appropriately. What are you doing here? I'm a novice from the monastery. I run errands for the magicians and also the paladins. I have provided the three innkeepers in the city with wine from the monastery. Who are the three innkeepers? One of them is the good man here behind the bar. Then there is Karagon, who has his tavern on the Temple Square, and Cardiff, the owner of the tavern in the Harbor District. What can you tell me about the monastery? We novices seek enlightenment in prayer to Innos and learn the principles of faith from the magicians. We serve them as we serve Innos and prepare ourselves for the union with the fire. Well, take me to the monastery. Forget it. Do you know how many creatures I had to evade on the way? When I think of all those blood flies, wolves, and goblins, I'm glad that I don't have to leave here anymore. Besides, you can't enter the monastery anyway. But why not? Entrance is only permitted to magicians, paladins, and novices. How can I become a novice? 
If a man feels the deep desire... Hey, just tell me what the conditions are. You need the offerings, a sheep and... A thousand gold pieces. Where can I find a sheep? From the farmers, of course. But you won't get one for nothing. How am I supposed to get that much gold? Since you obviously don't know anyone who would pay that for you, you'll simply have to go to work. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. Don't bother. Hey, what's up? We, uh, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? You're working for the paladins? Well, yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. At the moment, everything is quiet. How are things with the orcs? No reason to worry. We in the city guard and the paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh. Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. They're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is, is held by the paladins. <laughs> Not even a meat bug could get through there. Would you like another beer? Well, I won't say no to a decent pint. They've even spotted an orc outside of town. Yeah, right. The dangerous orc outside the city. A real monster of an orc. Well, he's bound to attack the city soon. Listen, we'll kick that fat orc in his fat ass if he comes too close to the city. <sighs> Got it? I see. Would you like another beer? <laughs> A tasty bitter ale is absolutely the best. You know, you don't often meet someone who'll treat you to a beer. <clears throat> You're all right. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. Hey, come closer. Take a break and have a sip of cool beer. Lord Andre is springing for a few barrels of free beer. Hey, come closer. Nothing hits the spot like a cool pint after work. Hey, come closer. Take a break and have a sip of cool beer. Nothing hits the spot like a cool pint after work. How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know where there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town, until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. Bosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Bosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just waltzed into his store, took a bow, and left. 
The thieves are getting more and more brazen. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor as far as I know. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Bosper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. From this moment onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. All the citizens of this city who have martial skills at their disposal are herewith urged to join the royal militia. How strange. It seems to me that I have met you before, Traveler. Well... Great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al-Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet an astrologer, and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple blend is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Orcs. They are guarding an entry, an old tunnel, a valley of mines, men in shining armor, 
a magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature. The flames, many, shall die. What is that? A city. Ruins. Quarhodron in Jakandar. He is summoned. Quarhodron in Jakandar. I am sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Can you make me another prophecy? Oh, son of the mysterious future. It is not within my power to live the veil of time. Only when time sends me another omen shall I be able to see for you again. When will that be? When the future has become present and you have continued your journey. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. Ah, customer, what can I do for you? I have a few questions about the city. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, Trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Wait a minute. I am Hacken, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. ...is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat... Do you know anything about the Paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. Tch. Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the Paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman. Without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? 
I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since, even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon, but Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. That's nothing new. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there, because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. I never knew that. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city, and I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. Nothing's ever gonna change that. That doesn't surprise I'll deal with it. What? You wanna take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? Do you really believe that? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Show me your wares. He should have known better. But no, he insisted he knew better. It's really not my problem. Go away. Don't tell me that. There have been all kinds of rumors. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing surprises me anymore. Now that's typical, isn't it? That'll only cause more trouble. There's nothing you can do about it. Now that's typical. Let's wait and see what happens. Will it ever change? He doesn't see that. I can't really? Happen. How interesting. Who said that? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Really? How interesting. Those are all just rumors. I agree with you completely. I'd have gone about it differently. You don't say. Do you really think? But no. He insisted he knew better. He doesn't see that. Really? How interesting. Do you really think? It's a bad business. He doesn't see that. I can't yes, say. Who said that? Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit Nobody order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. From this really moment think? onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. All the citizens of this city who have martial skills at their disposal are herewith urged to join the royal militia. 